What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, right? If you're not perfect, you cancel. So, the thing about that, the issue with Monique and the bonnet thing, and some people want to say the cater to you thing is a joke or it's not. And, you know, Mark Lamont Hill bringing up Bill Cosby uh, his um, him denying it to be in a sex offenders class, so they trying to revoke his um, him getting out early. Is if you're not perfect, you cancel it. You know, going back to people's tweets 10, 15 years ago, <laughs> 15 is a long time, uh, five, 10 years ago, and you know, finding a picture of a person doing something inappropriate. Five, ten years ago. And then you're done. And you know, I don't like you because you did this, that, and the third. And I need to respect the person who can dig into a person's digital past and for some odd reason find something incriminating. And they're somehow a hero. Now, for for people who actually do something very egregious, you know, I get it. And you can say, this is why we looked into their past because we're sure that we've seen signs of this before. I get that. But when somebody's doing something right, you know what I'm saying? They're doing something that, that makes sense, that's, that makes common sense, that's justifiable, that, that, that people can go, yeah, you know, I'm glad that person said that. I'm glad that person did that. Then you go back into their past and you find something to make, to, to, to nullify their existence. That's wrong. You know, that's why I, when I did that live recently, I talked about, oh my God, when I did that live recently, I talked about Nate Parker um, and Birth of a Nation and how they went into that man's past is something which they never did before, and all of a sudden decided that we're gonna we're gonna try to cancel him, so his movie isn't success isn't successful, and we're gonna bring up something in his past that you know that he was acquitted of doing as he's guilty of something else. So why why would you support somebody who did something so egregious, even though they were found innocent? And people jumped on that bandwagon. And I'm like, okay, that's what we're doing. So the the, the issue about that is um, it's like an internet Gestapo tactic. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to watch everything you say and do on the internet. Or you got to scrub your internet profiles if you make any type of statement that excuse me, that can be viewed as controversial or it could be viewed as not even controversial. It could be viewed as you standing up for something or you believing in something or you making a statement about something that somebody may or may not like, right? You got to go into a whole spiel about why you know, why you feel the way you feel or why you think the way you think or how did you come to um, this type of um, uh, process. And it's stupid because the same people who will go into your past to cancel you, uh, you, you, you can go in their past and cancel them. But can you? Because I think the people who do that type of stuff they have like, you know, troll profiles and troll accounts. So I don't know who you are really, but you know who I am really, you know? So if anybody who, who's ever been on, um, you know, Facebook or Instagram, people just follow you, follow you, follow you. You know, some of those people are people you know, and some of those people are people you don't know. And some of those people are people you may know 
or may or may not know who know of you and you wouldn't um how can I, you wouldn't befriend them if you knew who it was like i remember i was at the gym i was talking to a young lady who's kind of about something because i'm a trash talker really and she said she thought i followed her on instagram because she got a, a dm and i was like I don't, I don't even be on instagram like that i don't even post and she said, come to find out, it was a guy she had blocked two previous times. But because of the way he, he wrote the message, that sounded like some trash that I would have said to her when I was working when, when I'm at the gym. So she thought it was me. So she was responding, thinking it was me. And then she found out who it was. It was like, uh, uh, uh. And then blocked them for the third time with three with the third different account. So, you know. You can't respect this, 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 I'm going to cancel you thing because at the end of the day, you know, you got people doing research and people just, just stalking. It's a difference. So, you know, and, and if you notice, like, uh, take, um, Judd Aptow. They, they went so hard to get Bill Cosby put in jail because of, of all of these shenanigans. He helped write the jokes for Hannibal Burris, which started the trend and got a, a, a judge elected on the platform of, I'm going to put Bill Cosby in jail, which got Bill Cosby put in jail. And then after Bill Cosby's in jail, his friend actually commit, actually did rape somebody. And then uh, he just disappears. What about your friend, huh? What? Your friend actually did rape somebody. You don't talk about that, huh? I got to go. Let me just make this movie. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. So it's BS. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.